Hey guys, and welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me today. So the question is, Barrel King, are they the new king of bourbon and rye? Only one way to find out. Let's do this. So I'm really, really excited to do the review uh, today for Barrel King. This is actually from the company Old Road Craft Spirits out of Bourbon, Missouri. Doesn't get any better uh, than that for a name for a town in terms of where your bourbon is going to come from. But more excited to do the review for today. This is something that since I sat down with both of these bourbons and rise, I was instantly hooked on what it was that they were doing and wanted to do the review of both the bourbon and the rye today for you guys. So it'll be a little bit of a dual episode, but we're gonna give you what the bourbon has to offer and what the rye whiskey has to offer. So without further ado, let's go ahead and kind of get into uh, today's review. So we'll go over and kind of give you a little bit of information as to what it is the Barrel King bourbon has to offer. So uh, this is coming in at, again, this is gonna be 120.8 proof. Uh, mash bill on this is going to come in at 75% corn, 21% rye, 4% malted barley. So pretty classic uh, MGP rye mash bill. Um, the age statement on this is actually about six. It says just over six years, but these are about six and a half years old. And the MSRP on this, so this is a little bit interesting. This is actually going to be only available through membership. I'll have a link in the description below uh, to Old Road Craft Spirits, where if you want to consider joining, uh, they'll have a couple of different memberships you can kind of get into. So, all right, let's go ahead and get into today's review. And first up, color-wise, beautiful mahogany color. Move the whiskey around in the glass a little bit. Beautiful oils on the glass already kind of forming. All right, let's go ahead and get into the nose. So right out of the gate, heavy dark chocolate, heavy burnt sugars. Fantastic baking spice on this. Nice rye spice coming through as well. Nice, sweet, rich oak, but the oak is definitely present there, uh, but really nice and sweet. There's just that sweetness that kind of has it as its backbone. Boy, even like something like a like a caramel cheesecake. There's something that's very desserty about it, but there's this richness that's behind it. And again, it, it is, there's that heavy caramel and almost like a cheesecake factory in that. Yeah, vanilla, rich vanilla custard on that. I'll even say a little bit of like a, a citrus, uh, more of an orange citrus on this. So this is a little bit more of that, I'll say classic MGP where the citrus starts to kind of at least leak out as you start to kind of uh, nose through this. Nice maple syrup on that as well. Uh, there's a little bit of a, a decadence to it as well, but without it being overly sweet. Nice Cracker Jack note. So you've got that combination of kind of the caramel, you know, I'll say even a little bit of that popcorn, but all that salt that's there, really, really nice richness to it. Maybe even a slight black or green tea. Uh, green tea. There's a little bit of, a, of an herbal characteristic on that. But overall, very rich. Um, there's something about it that is just resonating quality bourbon. All right, more importantly, let's, uh, let's get into the taste. Cheers. So the first thing I have to recognize is how oily and mouth coating it is. So it's already starting to basically set up where the tasting part is gonna go. You lead off with that incredible like baking spice, nice chocolate notes on that, really rich, sweet oak. Uh, the oak is present, but without it being over oaked. That barrel influence, again, like, you know, going back to the oak is there and it's a nice char that's there as well. So almost giving you the impression of like a double oak. There's a richness that's behind it. Nice vanillas, nice caramels. Again, that citrus starts to kind of come out as it sits on the palate a little bit more. Definitely more of that dark chocolate. I think this is one that as it sits on the palate and you swallow it, 
it really starts to kind of build, which is nice. The, there's layers, there's complexity that's there to it. And that's not always something that you get on a whiskey in that you know six, six and a half year range. There's much more richness and, and overall complexity. Again, great mouthfeel. There's a nice viscosity to it, you know, based on its proof, but it's layered, layered very well. That really nice rich vanilla or like a vanilla custard is there. Definitely those, those brown or burnt sugars. There's just that overall intenseness. Um, you know, the one thing that, that is kind of sticking in my mind is how oily it is, how mouth coating it is. It's allowing for all of those flavors to just remain on the palate. So it's making the finish, you know, nice and long, allowing for all those chocolates, the vanilla custard, a little bit of maple, nice sweet oak on that. Again, there's that little hint of like a Cracker Jack, maybe a slate, like saltiness that's there on it. Um, but overall, a fantastic, fantastic bourbon. What I will say is it drinks much older than its six and a half year range. If I was tasting this blind and didn't know, I would at minimum probably put this in that eight to 10 year range. So I really enjoy or appreciate how this six and a half year old bourbon is drinking. Um, again, going back to just, you know, it overall, the richness, the complexity, the chocolate, you know, that maple syrup that's there, the rich, bold, like vanillas, custards, nice caramel Cracker Jack notes, great baking spice, nice sweet oak. It has a lot going on for it. So again, huge fan of this Barrel King bourbon. Uh, right out of the gate. Let's go ahead, transition on over to the rye. We'll see what that one has to offer. As you can see, again, color pretty close to what the bourbon had to offer. Nice kind of golden uh, mahogany type of color on that, beautiful color. Move the whiskey around in the glass again a little bit. Uh, really, really nice oils on that as well. So the specs on the Barrel King rye, this is gonna come in at a mash bill of a 95.5 rye mash bill. Uh, proof is gonna be 105.5. It is age stated as just over five years old. And the MSRP again on this, like the bourbon, this is also gonna be part of a membership program. All right, let's go ahead and kind of get into the nose. So right out of the gate, there's this nice candied orange with a nice baking spice right on top of that. Like right out of the gate, you're hit with that nice mint, orange citrus, nice sweet oak, Fantastic nose right away. There's this candied aspect to it right away. Yeah, it's very candied orange mint kind of combo. Nice brown sugars. Again, kind of go back to that sweet oak. There's that oak that's there. It's not over oaked in terms of like what you'll get from like something that has uh, a lot of like tannins in it. This is a little bit more on that sweeter oak side. Again, a little bit more of that milk chocolate, a little softer than it was on the bourbon. The bourbon was a little bit more straightforward chocolate wise. This I would say is softer, maybe more of like a milk chocolate. For this, um, more specifically like the creme brulee, but more of the charred kind of topping you get. So you get a slight little bit of that char, but that nice like rich burnt sugar that's there on it. Yeah, nice fresh like warm caramels. All right, more importantly, let's, uh, let's see how this one's gonna taste. Cheers, guys. Wow. So very similar to the nose right away. That candied mint and orange is very much in the forefront. Quickly, that baking spice, sweet, rich oak kind of follows very, very quickly following that. Again, more of the chocolate notes, but this is, again, I'll say more of a, a milk chocolate. There's a little bit more of a, of a softness and richness to, to this chocolate. Again, leading is the mint, that orange, that sweet oak. There's still the barrel influence, nice sweet oak again, like I said. And I think you're even picking up a slight amount of like a, like a butter pecan, um, like ice cream. So the combination of like the, the vanilla custard and the, you know, whatever else it is that makes up the, the pecan ice cream, there's that combination of, of that that's kind of resonating. And another thing that I don't always get on rye, but there's this nice 
fresh roasted like coffee, coffee beans, coffee grounds. There's just something in that that's allowing for this little bit of like richness to kind of um, come forward. Again, just that rich vanilla, you know, caramel, that kind of burnt sugar. But the one thing that still stayed consistent throughout was the candied mint and an orange citrus and that sweet oak, nice baking spice. So that part all transitions over to the finish. Again, like the bourbon, the finish is nice and long on this as well. Drinks really well, you know, in that again, 105 uh, proof range. It's a nice sipping proof range, I think for, for a rye. Uh, this has really hit its stride. This bottle has now been open for probably upwards of almost a month. So it's been given a, a fair amount of time to kind of open up and it's really started to shine. Again, very similar to the, to the bourbon, but you know, short of saying I'm in love with these two and what this brand ha kind of has to offer, uh, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of what it is that they're, that they're putting out, whether they're single barrels or they're, they're batching, whatever it is that they're doing in the barrels they're getting so far appear to be top notch. So again, I'll have a link in the description below to, uh, to the website. So if you're interested in anything that they're doing, make sure you check that out uh, as well. There's both the, the Barrel King bourbon, the Barrel King rye. I think in my opinion, they're doing fantastic, uh, fantastic job with uh, both of these whiskeys. I'm very, very excited to see not only what they're doing now, but kind of what the future will hold for, for them. So, I mean, them as a non-distilled producer, it's always interesting to see what a company will do with the whiskeys they have or the whiskeys that they're securing and how they kind of build on some of the traction. So uh, again, Barrel King, absolutely fantastic. Guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, if you'd like to follow me, you can on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all of those places at My Bourbon Journey. If you'd like to help support the channel, you can through my Patreon page, which I'll have linked in the description below. In addition to that, that will also allow you to become a member of the Mash and Journey Whiskey Club. So guys, there you have it. Barrel King Bourbon, Barrel King Rye. Go check them out. Links in the description below. And as always, it's about the journey and not the destination. Cheers. Thank you.